One, two. Mic testing. One, two. One, two.
Tchê, tchê. So, um, ladies and gentlemen of the press, uh, we have uh, a statement as a Zmeo coalition, one Kenya, which I'm going to read. Today, Hon Honorable William Samuel Ruto, my opponent in last year's presidential contest, has issued what I regard as an important statement. Uh, uh, no, it's a little bit. Sorry. Down, down a bit, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. There you yeah. are. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, go slowly. Mm. Well, uh, I'll begin again. Uh, today, Honorable William Samuel Ruto, uh, uh, who was my opponent in the last year's elections has issued what I regard as an important statement since the election. We have We have met We have met and listened to a diverse group of Kenyans, including religious leaders from all faiths about the crisis facing our country today. They, they have implored us to give dialogue, especially during th these holy periods of Easter and Ramadan. <clears throat> it is in this context that we make this counter offer to Hon Ruto's call for dialogue. Mr. Ruto has asked me and Azimio to enter into a constitutional, open-ended, and binding dialogue with this government to find a resolution to the issues that we in Azimio have raised about the last year's election and the key governance and the cost of living issues facing our country. As Kenyans know, we disputed the 2022 election results declaring, declared by the then IBC chairman of Fula Chabukati and a minority of two commissioners. 
against the express decision of a majority of four commissioners to reject those results. To our consternation, the Supreme Court unfortunately agreed with the IEBC. We refuse to accept the ruling of the Supreme Court as biased and lacking in proper jurisprudence. Since then, we have widely consulted with the people of Kenya throughout the width and breadth of this great country of, of, uh, of this great country of ours. We have held rallies uh, and more recently demonstrations in Nairobi and elsewhere. We believe that the people of this country understand the danger we face as a country. In our view, elections are sacred because they must represent the true voice of the people. We have raised the key issues that we face as a country, including the electoral injustice, the cost of living, the legitimacy of the IBC, the opening of the server for a forensic audit, the savage attacks on media and innocent civilians by the police, and the viability of our democracy, including buying off of, uh, of, of uh, members of parliament. We have said that members of parliament, once elected in political parties, must carry that mandate for the rest of the life of that parliament. I believe that Kenya is today facing its worst crisis in decades, out of which you could recover or go the way of other failed states. As leaders, it is our responsibility in Azimio, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. as leaders, it is our responsibility in Azimio La Umoja to save this country from the catastrophe. We as Azimio La Umoja have resolved the following. One, we acknowledge Mr. Ruto's olive branch for a dialogue on key issues raised by Azimio La Umoja. To us, this is a positive, de a positive development. Two, we agree that a balanced parliamentary process co-chaired by both sides and backed by uh, experts from outside uh, should proceed. In our view, this committee must be composed with immediate, with immediate effect, with the strict deadlines for resolving the crisis facing the country. Four, in accepting the call for the dialogue, we ask that all arrests and prosecutions related to our demonstrations be stopped with immediate effect. In view of the foregoing, we stand down our demonstrations for Monday, that is tomorrow, April 3rd, 2023. Six. But in doing so, we want to emphasize that the right to assemble, to demonstrate, petition, and to speak are ironclad as provided for in our Constitution. Seven, therefore, we reserve our rights to call for demonstrations should this process not bear fruit. Should there be no meaningful engagement or response from Horn Ruto to our counter offer, we resolve to resume our demonstrations after one week. We have said several times that demonstrations, picketing, processions, petitions are enshrined in our constitution. 
and therefore they are not criminal. You have also said that we as a Zmiu have never organized criminals to vandalize businesses of innocent, hardworking Kenyans. This is the work of our distractors. Our distractors have all the times tried to show these uh, demonstrations as being violent and aimed at destroying businesses of other people. We want them to desist from doing so. And we want to underscore the point that demonstrations are a fundamental right of each and every Kenyan. Therefore, we'd like to see other organizations, particularly human rights organizations, turned out and condemn these heinous acts which have been committed by uh, the, the state. There have also been excessive use of force by the police. Police officers are meant to keep law and order. But if you find a situation where police officers are using live bullets against unarmed civilians, it is of course a, basically a reckless police force which wants to cause life which they are supposed to protect. We actually protest in the strongest terms possible about this violation of the fundamental rights of our people. We say that we are ready to embrace dialogue and that we will engage as long as Mr. Ruto and his team are ready to engage. We as a Zmiu are ready because we want a peaceful resolution to the uh, differences that we are having in this country. We want to strengthen our democracy. We want our elec election to have meaning that how Kenyans vote is actually what is eventually announced by the Electoral Commission. We have also said that we do not want to see the four commissioners who had said no to be sacrificed. We want those commissioners to be reinstated uh, so that we can be able to move in as a country uh, in, in a one and a united way. So we are ready as a Zemio, I'm saying in conclusion, we are ready to engage. We will engage without any kind of uh, coercion in, in whatever way. And we, we, this process could start as early as tomorrow. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? Yes. My name is Brian Mushiri from NTV. What is your position on uh, the cost of living? Because there are some who engaged um, in the weekly protest because of uh, the high cost of living that the country is currently experiencing. That is contained in the statement. You have stated clearly as one of our reduced minimum demands. And you're saying that when we engage in a bipartisan manner, we will raise this issue of the cost of living so that uh, we can be able to alleviate the suffering of our people. You have said that at a time like this, we should go back to subsidies which are being applied by the former regime so that the cost of living can come down uh, to the majority of our people. So that is it's not compromisable. It is one of our irreducible minimums.